Hello, Dave Brennan with Case IH. I want to spend just a minute talking about downforce control when running the Isobus solution on a 2000 series planner and the Pro 1200 display. So let's start by looking at the universal terminal screen and we'll notice that on this particular configuration of planner, we have one of our highest take rate options, that being the automated downforce solution, the hydraulic downforce solution. So you'll notice that as I transition over to the planner run screen, run screen seven, that UT screen, I scroll down to the subscreen three, you'll see my downforce control window in the uh, upper left-hand area. You'll also see then a ground contact bar graph showing row by row detail. Now I can scroll in and look at a deeper level of that and see each one of those metrics ground contact, so the gauge wheels left the ground. I can see my net applied force. That could be a positive number, meaning it's applying down force. It could be a negative number, meaning it's lifting that row unit. And then the gauge wheel force, what that gauge wheel is actually seeing for down force. All right, so as I look at those menus, we can scroll back up and go back to that full graphical, all 16, 24 rows, whatever configuration that planner is. Now I'm gonna leave it on this screen as I exit out and go over to my user-defined windows in the other run screens that are on the Pro 1200 as I've customized them to show that information for my downforce control. Now what you will notice, I've also customized this left-hand area to show what was last seen on my universal terminal. This gives me the ability to look at that in a graphical format across uh, what or how that downforce system is functioning. So as I'm rolling through the field planting, I can make changes to the downforce system and make sure that my, for example, ground contact is at or uh, close to 100%, meaning those gauge wheels haven't left the ground. And I may notice that I want to increase that downforce. I've got it right now set on standard. I'll go ahead and hit custom and I can change that to any number that I want. So let's just go ahead and change that to 110 pounds of downforce or a target of 110 pounds of, of uh, target. And so now I can sit here and watch uh, that ground contact level increase or decrease or make sure that it, it's close to 100%. It's also being broadcast up here uh, in a format there where I can look at uh, my gauge wheel force, all of those metrics, including margin, uh, ground contact, and net applied. And it's gonna scroll through uh, the various rows on that planner. So that's downforce control on the Isobus solution for a 2000 series early riser planner. For more information, refer to your operator's manual or visit your local Case IH dealer.